Axis has made its way down to GX, and even though it's still expensive, I think there's five huge reasons you should consider upgrading. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider, and today I'm gonna to be installing the new SRAM GX Axis derailleur on my bike. It's something I'm super stoked about. I've actually used wireless shifting before. I've tried out the Archer Components D1X, and while there were some things I didn't like about that setup, I think there is a ton of benefits to wireless shifting that I wanna share with you today, and in hopes that maybe you'll consider this in the near future. So just a couple weeks ago, I went down to the Losco. They're my local bike shop, and these guys always hook it up. Mike and all the guys there are so great and always take care of you. And they set aside one of these SRAM GX access derailleurs for me as everything is in high demand. So I'm gonna install it on my bike and tell you the five things I think you should consider as to why you might wanna pick one of these up yourselves. So let's jump into it. All right, so as I'm getting everything out and ready to go, isn't this packaging just beautiful with everything you need? I think the very first thing I wish people knew about wireless shifting was the ability to micro adjust each and every gear. The one thing I've found with every single drivetrain that I've ever used is there's always like one or two gears that you have to like double shift up and then shift down to get into the right one, or it just doesn't sound quite right. And I just wish that I could set each gear perfectly if it's a little off in order to be right in line with the cassette. With wireless shifting, that is possible. Using the SRAM app, you can go through each individual gear. So if your derailleur gets a little bent, if you get in an accident and something is going wrong in your shifting, you can make micro adjustments on the fly so that your drivetrain works flawlessly all the time, even over the life of your drivetrain and wearing down your chain. I think this is hands down the biggest reason to consider a wireless shifter. So first thing I have to do is get rid of my old drivetrain. I've been running the Advent X, which has really been pretty flawless for the price and the quality that you get. It's pretty amazing, but I always like to try things out. By the way, I haven't mentioned what bike this is yet because it's not quite ready to show off, but don't worry. I think my next video, I'm gonna show how stoked I am about this bike. All right, number two thing that I think is super important or super awesome about wireless shifting is you are getting the highest end tech that SRAM is making right now. The cool part about this GX derailleur is if you've looked at any other videos comparing this to the X01 or the XX1, the only difference is this cage down here where the pulleys sit on. Other than that though, the whole body itself, the technology that's all packed in this is SRAM's highest end clutch and shifting and everything that you're getting so even though it is kind of expensive, you can rest assured that for the next two, three, even four years, that this technology is still gonna be very, very relevant. The third reason that I think wireless shifting, as well as wireless droppers, is really nice, is that not only do you reduce some weight, I don't really care about weight, but the biggest thing is you're reducing things that are rattling in your bike. I love when my bikes are super quiet. It bugs me when they make a ton of noise. And I think reducing the amount of cables running internally or externally on your bike is just gonna reduce the likelihood of it making noise, which why not have a quieter bike to enjoy your ride? All right, number four, as I'm putting on this shifter, was one I wasn't even planning on sharing, but it's always good to have a bonus, is not having to reroute cables internally is a dream. It's so nice to just put something on one side, put something on the other, and not worry about tension, the right cable length, all those issues. And then along with that, a fifth thing that I think is a huge positive about wireless shifting is you're not gonna get cable wear over time. On cables, uh, the cables are gonna stretch, so you have to always micro adjust on your barrel adjuster. On a wireless setup though, you don't have to worry about cables wearing, replacing them on time, or any issues that you're gonna have as wear goes on. All you have to do is just double check your shifting. If there's an issue, pull up the app, you're all set to go. All right, got my cassette on. Now I need to put the chain on. Of course, I'm running an NX chain, not because I want to, but because it was this or a gold XX1 chain. And even though I make kajillions on YouTube, that was a joke. Uh, this seems like a better option. You're a chain breaker, shift taker. I don't know the rest I made up this song. <laughs> so got my battery all charged up. The nice thing about these is they last about 24 hours, which is a very long time. You ride your bike every day for three hours, three times seven. Basically, you can ride for a week straight every day and then just throw your battery on the charger before you go to bed and all set to go. All right, let's get this thing on to get it all set up. I am an incompetent fool when it comes to derailleurs and that went on very easy. All right, the last thing that I love about this, it's like tip five or six, I've kind of bundled some, is that 
This just looks cool. I'm sorry, but when you don't see any cables connected to a derailleur and it sounds like a little servo motor is like having a party back there, it just feels cool. And I gotta say, the best part about buying a wireless shifter is that you look cool and so you feel cool and then you ride probably worse. That's what I do, perfect. All right, that about wraps up the installation. Pretty excited to put some miles on this drivetrain and really see if wireless shifting for SRAM is everything people say it is. That about wraps it up for today. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about wireless shifting in his garage, but get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.